Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Sea of Thieves video. Now in this video I'll be talking about some new information that has come out regarding the update that will be coming on June 22nd, A Pirate's Life and Season 3, and yeah just some more stuff that has been shared by Rare on their social media. So let's get right into it and take a look at some stuff that they posted on their Instagram and their Facebook. So these are going to be screenshots from their Instagram page, you can see their Instagram there, make sure to go and follow them, they are amazing. Like, They've given us the best update possible, but they shared these um, artists' like renditions of what these new areas are going to look like for the expansion. And it does seem now like they, this will be a completely separate area that we will be going to explore, a bit like the Shores of Gold. Um, they shared some text underneath this saying, the sea, of the, the sea of the Damned is more than just the ferry. Our artists explored many ways that cursed memories could manifest around Picaroons, unlucky enough to find themselves lost in this sailor's grave. Find out what secrets the dead hold in Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life, available June 22nd. So that is um, basically them saying, by the sound of it, that there's going to be a lot more um, stuff to do with the Sea of the Damned, which to me is going to be really cool, because obviously we have the, the Fairy of the Damned that we end up on when we die in-game, but this seems to be like a whole area dedicated to it, and I, like I said, it seems to be similar to the Shores of Gold, that it's going to be an area that you go to during the story missions, um, so that there's like a way that you have to trigger something that actually allows you to go through. It looks like a portal that we will be going through, rather than going through the mist, um, so maybe it loads you into like a private server where you're literally just in this world or something like that. It'll be really interesting to actually see what the mechanic for that is like, um, but I thought that I'd share that. But that's not all. The most important thing that I really wanted to share actually came from the Xbox Wire blog post, basically, um, about Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean sails into Sea of Thieves in the Ultimate Pirate crossover, join forces with Captain Jack Sparrow in an all-new adventure when the two biggest pirate universes collide. Uh, a thrilling original story sends players across, below, and beyond the Sea of Thieves. So again, talking about going somewhere else um, and facing new enemies and challenges. So again, that's June 22nd, for free for all players on all platforms. Um, so basically, yeah, it's going to be a massive crossover. Again, rare, amazing. Um, basically the best update to uh, pretty much any game that I think I've ever played. Uh, this is like my dream update for any game. Um, but yeah, um, there's going to be more than just cameo appearances. Uh, they've created a, na a narrative that doesn't just bring two worlds together, but explores what makes each of them special. And I really, really think that these five tall tales, which five tall tales is quite a lot, um, I think it's going to be really, really interesting to actually see where they went with the direction of the tall tales. Because of course we've got Davy Jones and um, the Flying Dutchman and all of that, but this is the most interesting bit. New dangers arise. Of course, new adventures bring new, new environments and challenges. Again, new environments, somewhere where else that we're going. Um, not only extending to the Sea of Thieves and Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, but the famous park attractions as well are going to be featured in this by the sound of it. Players will also be facing grave danger from deadly new enemies wherever they sail. This is the really important bit. Terrifying phantoms will require swift reflexes to deal with, while sirens swarm beneath the waves and wield de devastating new weapons of their own. Even the decks of the ships might not be safe if there are lumbering ocean crawlers around. And these new threats will be appearing all around the Sea of Thieves in future updates, not just during players' adventures with Jack Sparrow. Gosh, English is hard today. Reading all this is hard. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got the gist of that, that there is going to be lots of new enemies that we encountered during these tall tales that will be coming to the more free roam aspect of Sea of Thieves, similar to forts and those kind of things. Which is what, if you watched the last video where I reacted to the uh, to the trailer, this is what I was hoping for. New enemies, new threats, new things to do. You know, maybe we're going to be get getting missions to go and find things in the Sea of the Damned, or maybe we get, you know, that kind of mission, or there's going to be things to go and fight the ocean crawl, I'm just really excited. Um, basically, yeah, it's going to be really awesome, but that was some information that I thought would be really good to share, seeing as that's what a lot of people want to see, is less recycled enemies and content, and actually new enemies and new things to do. And it definitely seems like Rare have answered all of our prayers and gone beyond that. And yeah, so I'm really excited and I'll be recording everything, like I said, on the day to show you guys here on the channel. So yeah, um, I'll be looking forward to that. Any 
anything new that comes out in the meantime, of course, I will keep you guys updated. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching, and see you again soon.